my wonderful artists. I am so excited to be with you this week. Uh, we are going to be doing a little bit of a review talking about our color wheel. I know that this is something we, we touched on at the beginning of the school year, but that's okay. We're going to come back and revisit this. Primary colors meaning that these colors, you have to just have them. There's nothing that you can do to mix to create these colors. So there's nothing that I can make or mix that would make the color red. There's nothing that I can mix together that will make the color yellow. You just have to have yellow. And there's nothing I can mix together to make the color blue. These three colors are known as your primary colors. These are primary colors. Now, if I mix these two colors together, I should get the color orange. And then if I mix yellow and blue together, that will give me the color green. And then the last one here, way up at the top, and way down here at the bottom, if I mix those colors together, that gives me purple. So these three colors are known as your secondary colors. These are your secondary colors because by mixing your primary colors together, you get your secondary colors. So now, today, we are going to be making a color wheel that will incorporate all of these colors. I'm going to draw, draw a circle here, and we're going to divide that circle in half, okay? Let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay, we're going to divide that circle in half. Now. Who knows how to make the letter V? We're going to make the letter V. We're going to start at the center here. We're going to do a diagonal line up. Come back to that point. Same point, right? We're going to draw another diagonal line up. Now, do you remember this part? Flip your paper upside down. We're going to do the same thing again. Put your crayon or whatever you're drawing with in the center of this. And we're going to draw a diagonal line up and another diagonal line up. Okay, now we have our pie pieces. Is this coming back to you? Are you remembering this from the beginning of our school year? Okay, to start off, what color do we need? Think of the rainbow starting with your rainbow. What color do we need? You need red. Right? So when you have a rainbow, let's start with our rainbow over here. We got the color red. So I'm gonna go ahead and put red in this top box here. You can use crayon, you can use pencil, you can use any material that you want. Then what goes next to red in our rainbow is the color orange, right? The trick with making a color wheel is getting your colors in order. So next to red, we have orange. What color do we need to make the color orange? You need red and yellow to make orange, right? Okay, so we're going to take yellow and yellow is going to go next next in our rainbow here and it couldn't go next to orange all right what one's next green green goes next i put green under that and green goes next to our yellow okay and then what goes next to green we need blue. Blue. Our rainbow's getting kind of full here. 
Blue goes next to green. You can sing about it. How many of you remember the color song? You can. I'll post a link to that color song on your page so that you can find it. Okay, purple, that's the last one. And then my color wheel is complete. Okay, instead of creating a rainbow and drawing out your color wheel, another option is finding objects in your house to make your own color wheel. So here is one example with making color wheel with fruits and vegetables. Look at all of the different fruits and vegetables that are in there. Look at all of them and how they are laid out in order to make their own color wheel. Another thing that you can do is go and find objects in your house and make your own color wheel by finding colored objects. So I'm going to show you how to do that. My children helped me by hunting down lots of different colorful things here in our house. Random stuff. I've got eggs, I've got a hairbrush, I've got ribbon and scrunchies. I've got a daughter here who loves scrunchies and Legos. So you can make your own. Come on, let's dump it out. And make one. All right. What's the first step that I need to do is sorting my objects. So if we're going to start with red, let's find all of our red objects and push these aside and hope none of them roll off the table. All right, let's start with red. We'll put red up here at the top. to go and make your own color wheel. Post a picture, send it to me, and tell me a little bit about your color wheel. I can't wait to talk to you later.